to an article from Nylon Magazine, we actually have just a few more details on this Depop collaboration for assets that are coming with the brand new Sims 4 High School Years Expansion Pack. And even though we have seen images previously in a video that I uploaded yesterday titled Multiple Updates Coming, plus first look at new clothes for High School Years Expansion Pack and more, we actually have not really new looks necessarily, but different looks. We have full body shots this time, not just top shots or mid shots, and even some pieces that we didn't see in that video that I made yesterday that are included here with higher detail on this nylon magazine. We already knew that players can purchase these brand new cast items in the game's local thrift store and boba hangout spot, Thrift T. But here's what I want to know, because they keep advertising these two places together into one. Are they making it so that the thrift shop and the T are like two separate lot traits and then we could have multiple things happening on one lot that would be really really cool i keep seeing that so that's definitely a thought that i have in the back of my mind right now but we have some new information on this depop system or trendy as they've called it in the blog post nylon writes the cult favorite life simulation game has enlisted five of depop's most popular in real life sellers for the project working with the sims development team to create three custom pieces for the new expansion pack the teen sims will be able to discover fashion items in the store's rotating inventory, which players need to shop quickly as the rarer Depop items will not always be available. So they're introducing, I guess, some sort of system with rarity and commonality, if that's a word, I don't know. And I'm guessing that the more rare an outfit is, then the harder it is to find and the more that it sells for, which only makes sense. They mentioned the store has a rotating inventory, so I'm automatically getting flashbacks to Plopsy. I wonder how similar this is going to be with Plopsy because if you want to buy things on Plopsy, obviously those of you that use it know that if you come one day, different things are going to be there. You come another day, different things are going to be there. So I wonder if it's going to work similarly to that or if it's going to be a little bit deeper in terms of, you know, how it's rotating. So items that are rarer, I guess, will not be available frequently. So they'll be harder to find. And if they do end up there, then they're going to sell very quickly. So it seems like there is some sort of very detailed system coming with this. I'm assuming it's going to be like Plopsy, but I feel like they're going to elaborate on it more since they wouldn't incorporate the same feature twice. Share your thoughts on this down below and what you think this will mean for the new trendy system confirmed coming. Here are some items courtesy of Depop by the wonderful creators that created them. And now we actually have new full body looks higher quality looks as well. The images that I used on my last video were kind of lowish to medium quality. They weren't the best, but these images are definitely better. And I think that the Sims team should have used this in the blog post that we talked about yesterday. And once again, the frog top. I love this frog top. It's so cute. More looks at this one, of course, now on the side. When showing off new cast pieces, the Sims team definitely should do more profiles. I like how they do show us front and back, but side is definitely important, you know, to see thickness and of course how it's laying and fitting on your sim. Of course, in the original blog post, they talked about how you're actually going to be able to hype up outfits. So I'm guessing it is going to be more detailed than Popsy as the more you hype up an outfit, the higher chance it has of selling. And I wonder if that's going to also increase its value as well. Nylon does refer to this the same way that the original e blog post that we read did, but they use some different terminology here. They write the Sims 4 new fashion looks will allow the players to become digital trend setters. So different terms here, but this is still really cool and something we definitely have not seen in The Sims so far. So it's like Popsy, but at the same time, it's kind of not. They continue as you'll be able to hype your favorite curated outfits to increase their value, earn simoleons, and even become a simfluencer. So of course, things we already knew, but it appears as though there's going to be some sort of hype meter in the game for each each of these outfits that you curate and that sounds really cool again we have some new full body shots front back and side views i really hope that there are several swatches with these two because i love these flowers but it would be nice to see them in different colors and also i can't wait to see what cc creators are going to do with this because the recolors that we get out of some of the ea stuff that comes oh my gosh it's amazing by the way this is coming from ea in the game but this was designed by selena williams all these 
that I'm showing today are not designed by those on The Sims team, but from amazing sellers on Depop. And we have a super zoomed in detailed view of a brand new custom beaded necklace designed by Bella. And the details on this are really nice. I'm glad that they gave us this zoomed in high quality image so that we can really see these details. And lastly, an outfit that we've seen multiple times in the blog post. We now have views, of course, from the side here. And this was designed by Jeremy on Depop. So let me know what you think about all these looks, all these new looks. And of course, if there's any more details or information, I'll be bringing it to you guys first. I can't wait to learn more about this trendy thing. It was definitely one of those features from the blog post that I wasn't like too hyped about at first. Like I was excited about everything. It was definitely a lot for me to take in. And this was one of those things that I was not as excited for just because everything else was kind of overwhelming. But now sitting down, reading through these, looking through these pictures, there's a lot of potential here with this system. And I can't wait to see what the Sims team has done with it. That's going to be all today. I love you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. So long and happy simming. This video was brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. If you'd like to join my community over there, a link is below. Thank you for watching.